that man has no right to define what being Jewish is. Right. He is the least qualified person in the planet to be, to be defining what is and what isn't being Jewish. The executive order has nothing to do with um, safety of Jewish allies. It is solely meant to oppress Palestinian advocates and, pal and people who champion Palestinian human rights. I am Jewish and it is because I am Jewish that I fight for the rights and liberty for all people and I do not associate my Judaism with the nation state. This is a dangerous, dangerous precedent and my only question is what comes next? If we allow this to happen, what more will we allow to happen? How far can this go? It is solely based in the system of white nationalism and white supremacy that we have in America, especially for political gain to weaponize the Jewish identity against Palestinians. And Jewish people have a large amount of political diversity and political thought, and to generalize all Jewish people into this nationality, quote unquote, or this political opinion is absolutely ridiculous and totally unfair. I went to high school and I saw what I saw as my Jewish identity, this deep social justice tradition right. rooted in, in solidarity and collective liberation suddenly be applied to this the state that I felt had no representation of me Absolutely. whatsoever. The most troubling thing about this executive order to me is that it is a veiled way to silence valid criticisms of a nation state. It is a veiled way to silence Palestinian voices, to silence and to pretty much dissolve the BDS movement. My administration will never tolerate the suppression, persecution, or silencing of the Jewish people. We have also taken a firm stand against the so-called divestment and sanctions movement, or BDS. You know that very well. We forcefully condemn this anti-Semitic campaign against the State of Israel and its citizens. comes from the history of uh, South African apartheid mm -hmm. uh, and the boycott, uh, what's called the apartheid movement. And a big thing too is that it kind of goes like one step at a time and gets bigger. So boycott is individual, where like you boycott settler companies and companies that actually like, give money to human rights violations. And then from there you go into divestment. And that idea is that universities and churches and things of that nature should divest from Israel to put pressure to have them listen to human rights arbiters and people of that nature. And lastly, sanctions is based more around South Africa where the whole idea is to get governments to pull out. It is a way to try and institutionalize and then dissolve voices and groups like Jewish Voice for Peace and Students for Justice in Palestine. It's a way to try and financially punish universities who receive Pell Grants and try to institutionalize this definition of anti-Semitism and this definition of, of what it means to be Jewish. That does not protect Jewish students. If you want to protect Jewish students, give us more kosher options on campus. Give us a shul on campus. Give us days off for our religious holidays. Do things that improve our day-to-day -day lives. He recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. He recognized the Golden Heights as part of Israel. He re reversed the decision that the settlements are illegal. And right now, as we're seeing, he wants to silence Palestinian Americans on campus. Our collective trauma from the Holocaust and just thousands of years of being persecuted has been weaponized against us to the point where now we have to have Israel, we have to live there, you have to support Israel because what's gonna happen if there's another Holocaust? What's gonna happen? Well, we're seeing what's happening. We're seeing people die at the border from lack of medical care. Do you have people that are Jewish people 
that are great people. They don't love Israel enough. You know that. You're brutal killers. Not nice people at all, but you have to vote for them. You have no choice. The only space where I have felt that I can explore my faith and my, you know, in a way that I can explore my faith and my activism and grow as like a human being is being right. threatened to be taken away. Um, and just the fact that there are literal white nationalists in the White House. There was a pogrom in New Jersey last week. There, he, Donald Trump gave his most anti-Semitic speech in his entire presidency, and yet he's being called a champion of Jewish rights. That man has no right to define what being Jewish is. Right. He is the least qualified person in the planet to be defining what is and what isn't being Jewish. And I think any Jewish people that vote for a Democrat, uh, I think it shows either a total lack of knowledge or great disloyalty. If this executive order is about making Jewish college students feel safer on campus, it does the exact opposite. And it actually has the real intended purposes of stifling any and all solidarity with the Palestinian people.